Is it a virus? How does it spread? Is it airborne? We don't know. More than 100,000 people have died around the world from COVID-19. The coronavirus outbreak is causing chaos in global financial markets. More than 10,000 New Yorkers now dead of coronavirus. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson diagnosed... Americans are stocking up on toilet paper. I just want to fucking you what? <laughs> An order of 6,000 9 millimeters, they're already gone. In Italy, there have been almost 19,000. Spain's emergency killed. service workers showed their support for the medical staff. We are in uncharted territory. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is a message from the future. I speak from a place of pure light. I speak as a member of a highly evolved and enlightened civilization. As an artist, my task is to show you guys the future, only what I think is relevant in your time and by honoring your free will. Here, 100% of the population have achieved what you guys call enlightenment or spiritual awakening but also the word spiritual in our culture has completely lost its meaning. Long time ago when we began to see each other as a one entity and penetrate the veil of separation. This is the age of the end of spiritual seeking. This is the age of the end of philosophical doctrines. Therefore, the end of all doubts, tribulation and grief. When you start to see yourself in each human individual eyes, you will understand that there has never been separation, and therefore spirituality loses its meaning. Everything became connected and spiritual. And it has always been like this since the origin of everything. The legacy of many generations affects you all in ways that you are only beginning to understand. Having said this, I will start with a general remark. Since one by one increasingly fast over a decade, every individual of this global community understood their own path and assimilated the value of a specific journey, and yet that there is no separation whatsoever from the whole global community to the single individual. The act of supporting each other is not seen anymore as an occasional behavior of kindness or charity uh, towards someone, but is intrinsic on the fabric of every human action. In short, it is no longer a matter of choosing if to serve someone or not, because the veil of separation from each other is completely gone. The projection of separation from each other has been revealed to be untrue. The act of following constantly the higher level of intuition and joy, which is for each individual differently and unique, has created a natural polarization effect, which we call serve to other polarization. Supporting each other and serve to others is not a behavior delegated to benevolent people only, and also something that can be told Although past generations of moral and ethic schools have kind of shaped us in a direction of respect with each other, even though within a still the veil of ignorance and separation, characteristic of your society, we eventually have been able to transcend all kind of schools and teachings and align ourselves with the law of one. As a result, this polarization gave us a higher level of prosperity in every human field, better quality of life and self-realization. Many people within human society right now are in the wrong place, the wrong position for them, and it's slowing human evolution down. If you are doing the right things with your interests, with your aptitude, with your talents, with what makes you passion, it's not going to matter whatever something takes a long time or requires a lot of efforts, because you are gonna love the doing of it. 
This life is not about time, as many people preach. It's about how you focus and spend your energy in this physical dimension that we call life. Make sure that what you focus on and how you spend your energy is in what really matters to you.